saw the exact same. A lot of people saw it. There was a UN document. This is not, this is common knowledge. And it basically outlined the lockdowns and they just gave it to each country and allowed each country to tweak it for their own people, to make it more palpable for their people and to give the impression that it wasn't an international document disseminated to all countries to make it people think that every country made up their own rules. No, 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 no. The five levels of lockdown were in there. In a place like Ireland, they went level one to five. In a place like Canada, where we like colors, now we got green to gray. It's still five levels of lockdown. All the five levels are identical. They used Australia as the model for the fifth level of lockdown, where you can't leave your house, you can't go any, like, you can't literally do anything. And that's what they really want to do here. Well, I heard about the mandatory quarantine hotels, and I knew right away it's a complete violation of our rights. And the only reason they're doing it is because they want to convince you to accept the vaccine passport. And I want to stress that. Everything that they're doing, closing your business, closing your gym, forcing you to wear a mask, all the stuff they're doing is to try to convince you that it's a good idea for you to go along with this idea of a vaccine passport so they can vaccinate you multiple times a year, every year, and then use that as an excuse to prevent you from travel, work, congregating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if you think it's a conspiracy theory, they already have it in place in Israel, and they've already made it quite clear that if you don't get vaccinated, you're going to be relegated to small shops and grow grocery stores and you're basically shunned from the rest of society. And that's what they want. They want a complete medical tyranny on you. Once you give in to medical tyranny and you do not have bodily autonomy and they can literally forcibly inject you with whatever they want as a pretense for you to live your life, are you free? Absolutely not. That's the most invasive violation of our rights thus far. And that's why they waited an entire year of demoralizing you and destroying your life and making you as hopeless as possible. So you will not just accept it, you will beg for it. That's what they're doing. They're doing psychological warfare on you to weaken you to the point where you will not only accept defeat, you will accept perpetual defeat for the rest of your life.